there's some brand new text to sound features, sound effect, like text to anything audio features that 11 labs just released that I think you need to check out. Here's exactly how it's going to sound. And we're going to jump in and do it live. All right. Here's hopefully some examples of what we're going to get. That's right. All right. So pretty awesome. Uh, 11 labs just announced the new text to sound effects feature. So let's jump in right away and take a look and go over some different use cases of what this could be used for. All right. So my name's Jordan. I'll tell you more about everyday AI at the end of this, but uh, let's just go straight into this. So if you have a paid 11 labs account, uh, so normally you would use this for text to speech, but now there is this new banner right here that says text to sound effects. Uh, so you can just click that right here on the left hand side and you're going to be able to generate sound effects. So let's just try one. Uh, I have some examples that I'm going to go ahead and type in. So the first one that I'm doing is an energetic crowd in soccer stadium cheering. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and generate this sound effect. So if you are new to 11 Labs, uh, it's been one of the leading, and wow, actually I don't even need filler talk, it's already done. Uh, so let's go ahead and listen. So uh, like most uh, you know, generative AI models, it gives you four different options, um, and then you can store them, or you can download them, or you can obviously regenerate them. And then depending on the paid plan that you have, uh, you're gonna have a certain number of generations. So that's no different uh, than your normal Eleven Labs account. So let's go ahead and listen uh, to maybe two of these different generations. Let's go ahead and listen. Not bad. All right, so some of these are shorter too. It's like that first one was three seconds. It would be good if you could uh, get a consistent um, kind of seconds, uh, but you know, let's... I mean, the sound effects are pretty good. Uh, they're fairly short. So let's go ahead and look at what advanced settings. So, you know, if you have used 11 labs, you'll know that if you can, uh, you can go in at any time and here and click settings and there's different settings, or you can always go up here into advanced. So uh, we really like uh, 11 labs. So I'm doing this all live. This is unscripted, unplanned. Uh, so let's go ahead and see what settings are in here. Okay. So I like this. So it's going to automatically pick the best, best length and that's checked on by default. So I'm going to go ahead and check that off uh, just because I think that especially when you're doing something like this, you probably want a little bit more consistency um, and you probably know how long you want the sound effect to be. So let's say as an example that we want five seconds um, and now it says follow prompt or more creative. So uh, similarly, uh, if you go into the speech version of this, oh, settings, it's called uh, style exaggeration. That's one. And then similarity. Uh, so kind of a similar thing. So uh, let's go ahead and go into the settings. We're going to do this five seconds and we're going to crank this up and be a little more creative. So probably our outputs are going to be from the different generations are going to be much different, I would assume. Now, this one's probably going to take a little bit longer because I did ask for five seconds. Um, and a lot of them before were, uh, were between one uh, to three seconds. So a uh, little looks like some some U, uh, some U UI UX kind of bugs here. Uh, so it looks like it might be done. Let's see if this is the new one or not. All right, so not bad. So these are all five seconds now. Let's listen to another one. Pretty good, right? We even got the whistles by making it a little longer. So now let's do another simple one. We're going to do sound of two glasses. I'm going to actually do this clinking. Um, clinking during a toast at a party. We're going to change it on the fly. Um, so I'm going to go back into settings. Here we go. Five seconds. I want that. And let's go ahead. Uh, let's go ahead and bring this even more creative. Might not. A couple of these outputs might not be this good when we're bringing the temperature uh, kind of this high on the creativity. So let's go ahead and click generate sound. All right. We'll do one more. Uh, one more here after this. So again, this is a brand new feature from Eleven Labs. You do have to have a paid account. So uh, let's go ahead and listen to our generations.
All right, so that's an example that probably, that one probably would have been best if you kept the setting on and automatically picked the best length. So I thought that maybe we might get the background uh, of something that sounds like a party. In this case, we did not. Obviously, with a little bit better prompt, we definitely would. Uh, so let's listen to the second one. So now just as an example, I'm going to go through and say, I'm going to say with um, uh, boisterous guests in the background chatting, all right, chatting and cheering. All right, so maybe this will give us a little bit more of that atmosphere that we were looking at. That's the great thing about generative AI. It's going to give you something different each and every time. And then you can just, depending on what the output is, you can just change your text prompt, right? This is not a lesson in prompting. I actually wanted to do something very simple. So now let's see how this sounds. So, okay, not great, not great. Uh, we didn't really get any of that background chatting and cheering. Let's listen. Okay. There we go. A little better, but that one's not great. All right, so a little bit more of a difficult prompt. So now let's do uh, our last one here. Uh, we might do one more. So this one says background noise of buzzing of a buzzing coffee uh of a buzzing coffee shop all right and then let's just go ahead and listen to this one and then we're going to do one more so we didn't really get a lot here in this background noise of a buzzing coffee shop here we go <laughs> So again, I do have the creative uh, low. So let's go ahead and go follow prompt and let's run this one more time. And then we're going to do one more prompt. Again, this is our AI in five. We generally do this about five minutes, but this is a brand new feature. We're tinkering with it live. Uh, and then at the end, I'm going to give you some examples of how you might use this uh, for your business. All right. So a lot more consistency here. So pretty good. You know, even these, uh, the four different generations were pretty consistent when I had that, um, that up. So now I'm going to say elegant string quartet, um, to intro a, uh, thrilling scene in a movie. All right. So this one's a little, a little more, um, a little trickier. So I'm going to bring this back down to 40. I'm going to go ahead and say automatically pick the best length, and then we're going to generate sound. So as this is generating, let me tell you some examples of how you could use this. Well, if, if you're a creative agency, a marketing company, uh, maybe if you just want to create content that's a little more relevant for your audiences, um, you know, maybe a lot of your, you know, maybe you have a podcast like me, maybe, uh, you know, you host webinars and you just need a little something extra. I think this is a great uh, example of this. Obviously, you know, if you work in media, marketing, advertising, uh, communications, this is huge, right? Uh, so let's go ahead now and listen to Elegant String Quartet to intro a thrilling scene in a movie. I don't like that one. Kind of like number three. Number four is pretty good as well. All right. So uh, this, again, is just a very quick intro of this new feature within 11 Labs. I know this one went a little longer, but uh, this text-to-sound effects, I think it's actually bigger than a lot of people think, right? Uh, so obviously, 11 Labs has had their text-to-speech feature, but this is really bringing a new level of creativity, I think, uh, to people out there everywhere. So like I said, who this might be good for is uh, creative agency, marketing agencies, advertising agencies. Uh, if you work in communications, if you're producing any uh, content that is videos, audio, narration, etc. I mean, this is huge, right? It is just those small little things like we saw in this uh, intro video from Eleven Labs. Those small little sound effects, uh, things like that, that really I think really can elevate. Uh, a production, right? Uh, so a lot of times to create sound effects, uh, voice effects, things like that, it's a high budget, right? So we've had this great text-to-speech software for a long time from Eleven Labs, but now with this new generate sound effects, text-to-sound effects feature, I think it's going to change 
uh, what we can really produce um, as creatives. All right. I hope this was helpful. If so, go to youreverydayai.com, sign up for the free daily newsletter. We do these AI in fives today. It turned into an AI in 10 because it's a new feature. I really like it. So let me know if this was helpful and we'll see you back for another AI in five. Thanks y'all.